Ben is now heading to a quiet corner of Devon, where the great outdoors is being used to help rebuild broken lives. I've come to Butterton Woods near Exeter, where a group of ex-soldiers are learning traditional wood lore and rural skills to equip them for a life away from the forces. Many suffer mental health problems as a result of their time in the military. Our ethos is to be all-inclusive. We take people from all walks of life. We don't judge them. They come with a blank sheet of paper and they can recreate themselves in this caring environment. Joanna Winterburn came up with the concept of this course, which teaches everything from woodland management to bushcraft and charcoal making. She and her team of trainers and volunteers also provide much needed emotional support for the students. What's the general reaction when they first arrive here? Well, we're very, very relaxed here, so I think they have to deal with going from a very structured uh, military uh, routine to something that's less structured, although they, they learn new skills and we have structured days. It's much more informal and that's a bit of a learning curve for them as well. So are these courses about therapy or is it for qualifications? It's both. They, they learn uh, new skills. Um, they are also off, we can also offer them qualifications, so um, they can go on and start their own businesses. Good boy. One of the students currently taking part in the course is Brian Leslie. Boy. Hello, Brian. Hello, Ben. Aren't you a beautiful horse? Who's this then? What's this? Is Trelawney? Trelawney. Very nice to meet you. Hi. How are you? Nice to seeing you in the middle of a, a in woods the of like woods. this. Brian served on the front line in Northern Ireland at the height of the Troubles. His experience of the conflict triggered bouts of depression and PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. I joined when I was 17 and a half, and I was my first tour of Ireland when I was 18, so at that point I didn't know a great deal of the world. Various incidents there have actually caused the PTSD. Um, I've seen a friend of mine blown up in a, in a Land Rover. You know, in firefights I've had to fire uh, other human beings, which I didn't really like. You know, and it's left me with the scars now. How can you describe to me how it affects you? You get confrontational, you get hyper alert, you get depressed, you get anxiety issues, um, you get guilt issues. Um, there are a lot of effects, and it affects people in different ways. So when you come to a place like this, it's very calming, and you get time to think, and you get time to reflect on, you know, what your life's been and what, where you'd like your life to go. So what are you actually doing with him today? We're long reining. We're getting used to the commands for stopping and walking and staying, turning, getting used to people. So when we start doing logging with him, he's used to the weight behind him on the ropes. And what do you get out of this now, then? I mean, is this, um, is this oh, for a vocational work, or...? Um, it's not really, because I get a lot of enjoyment out of him, because he gives a lot of love back to you, and he just wants to please everybody. And he's brought me out with quite a dark spot. By the time I'm spent playing with him, um, I usually go back home with a smile on my face and, you know, look forward to the next time I come up. But this programme isn't just open to those suffering with PTSD. It's available for anyone who's spent any time in the military, even those who haven't experienced active service. Alex, I was told I'd find you down here. How are you? <laughs> How are you? I'm Ben. Very well, thank you. Alex Bennett is 19. Today, he's working with a pole lathe, one of the many woodworking skills taught here. After leaving the army just a year into training, Alex felt like a failure and began to abuse alcohol. This course is giving him a second chance. I was in the Coaching Guards. Unfortunately, I didn't complete training um, due to shin splints. And how did that feel then? It must have been pretty terrible going that far through it. Yeah, it was uh, a bit of a downfall, knowing that uh, just shin splints can uh, take away a lifelong dream, really. So if you were 18 when that happened, you must have been in a... a, a bit of a dark place, really, worrying about what you were going to do, where you yeah. were going to go from, from yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, losing friends, um, making terrible mistakes, a lot of spending money on alcohol, but I realised after a while, luckily I realised that it's not the right thing to do, you know. Now midway through the programme, Alex hopes to forge a new career as a tree surgeon. The course has had a huge impact on him. When Alex arrived, he was very quiet, very withdrawn, um, I'd say almost shy. We've seen a huge difference. He's much more relaxed, he's learning the new skills, he's enjoying it, he's smiling, he's laughing. So from going to being, you know, somebody who was in a very dark place to having a career idea is absolutely amazing. 
For many years, I've been escaping to the wilderness, using the great outdoors as a place to relax and calm me. And now, former soldiers are able to use it as a place of therapy, and more importantly, a place to rebuild their lives. Thank you.